welcome to this video we are going to organize a training on 8085 programming of your cat one most of you might have seen this poster on the notice board and now i'm going to discuss few points is it okay to learn 8085 now because it's the old processor if i study these 8085 any help for a gate exam upsc or any other competitive examination and when C programming is available why should I go for assembly and is this 885 is now taught in any universities in any NITs IITs etc so those information I am going to cover in this video is it necessary to learn 8085 or 8086 processor to understand latent processor this question was asked in the Quora. The answer you can see it. Not necessary, but it makes easy to understand 8086 advanced processor if you already know 8085. So this is the answer who is uh, working in the field of processor and controller in 1979 onwards till now. Is it okay to learn 8085 in 2015? This has seen in 15 and answer given by one person and answer is he is telling he did this in 30 years back which helps him even today also and uh, these things we should learn according to him and which are going to cover in our training every enc student must learn and perfect 885 according to him because he is an enc engineer not only enc every Engineer, CS, IS, electrical person should know. Nowadays, even mechanical also should know because everything is in automation. Why does 885 processor is important to study for a computer organization? So, this is the reason. The reason what he has mentioned is in 885, fundamental concepts or components are discussed. And uh, this is like a mother of the CPU. Hence, one should know 8085, even though he is a CS department. And is it helpful for any gate UPC exams? Yes. You can see the syllabus of gate 2016 for ECCS. It is there. And uh, you can see the question on processor which is asked in the UPC IS exam in 2014 for electrical engineering. And uh, 2017 gate syllabus. 8-bit uh, processor, 8085 architecture programming was there. Similarly, you can see 2018 gate syllabus, 8085 was there as a part of a syllabus. And uh, gate question sample, it has been shown. 2014, this was a gate question asked on the microprocessor. And uh, similarly, we have a 2013, we have a question on 8085. And uh, most of the other competitive examination, for example, Andhra postgraduate entrance common uh, test what they conduct, like PGCET in our uh, VTU conducts, there also 8085 syllabus is included. And uh, DSP versus C language. Programs written in the assembly can execute faster compared to C. Hence, one should know assembly. If you see the marketing, the traditional programmers are available in the assembly is very 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 less and DSP programmers assembly and uh, revenue generation using assembly is more compared to C. C anybody can learn assembly only engineers can learn. This is a flexibility and fast development by C it is possible but performance if you want you have to go for assembly. Many universities across the world they teach 8085. This is one university and uh, why to study the assembly language which has been given nicely in this uh, uh, US university you can go through this you can pause read all these information and other universities uh, those who are teaching 8085 you have Shivaji University Kolhapur we have a for BSc also it is there 8085 for MC also Anna University we have a 8085 and Punjab University we have 8085 syllabus and uh, Mumbai University we have 8085 syllabus computer science engineering 
this is West Bengal University of Technology they have 805 like that you can find many many universities are teaching 8085 and uh, these are the syllabus West Bengal University of Technology like VTV have so they also teach a uh, microprocessor and a microcontroller and Chris University and Department of Computer Science they teach the 8085 and also its interfacing techniques and uh, Baba Sahib Ambedkar Maratwada University, Aurangabad, they also teach 8085. This is a syllabus given in the website. Anybody can go through. And other universities are Nagpur University and we have a, a University of Delhi and many other universities are teaching 8085. And this is a Jadapur University. We have a Anamala University. We have a Kurukshetra University. Those who teach CS department, ENC department, E and E department, all teach this 8085. And Jalandhar University, I think PT we have Punjab Technological University, they teach 8085. And uh, even IT, Information Technology, Bharati Dasan University, they teach 8085. Sir, I am not interested in universities, I want only IIT and IT. Okay, let us see that also. This is a NPTEL which is supporting 8085 and uh, we have a IIT Bhuvaneshwar. They also have a 8085 and uh, for a PhD entrance test, IIT Guwahati keeps 8085 as a part of the syllabus. And uh, undergraduate program for NIT Manipur, we have 8085 and BTEC mechanical people, they are studying uh, 8085 and uh, NITT. It is. We have many other uh, NITs, NIT Rayapur. So even we have a 8085. IIT Kharagpur also is having a 8085. And uh, we have a what should I learn first? Microsoft 8086 or 8051? Because 8051 you are going to study in the next semester. You should start with the 8085. It is given the answer not by me, somebody has given in the internet. That would Set the basics right. That is the reason why we conduct the training program. After that, you can go for 86, then 805, and no problem. CS department, uh, institute office, and uh, we have a section set, simple programming example, etc. And uh, another institution which 85. And uh, for more information, you can visit the blog and try to register your name. And I have seen many students who are failing in microcontroller, even failed to un in many embedded subjects. So this is a basic for them and uh, 12 hours they can spend to learn this and uh, who is the resource person? I am the resource person, Dr. Sri Vrakthamit. To know more about me, you can Google. As an image you can Google, you will see my face. As a video you can Google, you will get a lot of videos which I have already uploaded in the YouTube. Or in general, you Google will get all the information. Visit the blog and make an entry. Thank you for watching this video.